guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back on the FHG account and we're gonna be looking at the Magician's Hat. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do the summons across of all of our accounts, see which account can pull the most Stargazer cards. I'm really hoping it is going to be this account because we need it. So again, we're gonna count all the Stargazer cards. There are two right off the bat, guys. I wanna see which account is going to get the best Stargazer results. So poll number two, just a lot of resources on the pay to win account. Um, we didn't get any, we got zero Stargazer cards. So we were completely shut out. That poll again, it didn't bring us nothing. So we're still at two Stargazer cards. All the accounts have about the same amount of the token tickets. There's another poll guys. So that gives us four for the FHG account. So definitely doing some solid polls there. And I just thought again, we'd have a little bit of fun with this. Um, the reason I love this event is if you look at the sheer amount of resources that you get, and there's two more guys, so that brings us up to six on this account. The sheer amount of resources that you get from this event is just absolutely crazy. And there is two more, so that brings us up to eight Stargazer cards already. So when you think of the value of eight Stargazer cards, not including all of the Poe coins, all of the Twisted Essence, the resources, everything else we get out of this event, is the reason why the Magician's Hat event is my absolute favorite because it just rains loot. Two more guys, that's 10 already. So the number to beat right now is 10. We have a couple more single pulls in here, which I think there was one box that I missed on this account because the rest of them have, I believe the solid pulls. So we only missed, I think one box. So, but I think that one box was three cards that we pulled. But you know what? We got 10 Stargazer cards out of this one for the FHG account. All of these accounts as well, we are going ahead and we're buying red chests. So we're stocking up on red chests, guys. I believe it is 160 red chests that you can get if you are completely free to play. As you guys know, these accounts we don't put anything into. We haven't put anything into these in a considerable amount of time. Um, so ultimately, we're gonna go ahead and pick up our red chests here. Just go ahead and max that out. So we get 140. Exactly, we missed those last three in there. So that is all the chests we're gonna get out of here. But 10 cards is the number to beat. So let's go ahead, we will get into our Light Bear accounts. Again, we gotta beat 10 with this Magician's Hat. All of these accounts have 3,300, so I did miss a couple cards on the last account. Poll number one gives us no Stargazer cards. That is what we've seen from a lot of these, is not getting any. Not seeing any at all. Poll number two, got nothing. We're gonna be able to stockpile those red chests though. So when we do get some new heroes outside of Walker, Walker we've already kind of built up. Um, we're gonna have more than enough resources to build out the heroes, which is exactly what I wanna see. Most of these pulls, we are getting red chests guys and red chests are a considerable amount of money. There's two Stargazer cards right there, but that was 10 more red chests out of that. Do you know how long it takes with AFK rewards to get 10 chests, 10 red chests? You're talking days, if not weeks, um, just to get 10 red chests out of there, which is the reason why events are so important. There's two more Stargazer cards. That brings us up to four on this account. Still, the number to beat is 10. Two, four more on that. That brings us up to eight on the Light Bear account. We could definitely beat our 10 on here. <sighs> Thought we were hoping right there we could get a tie because we got two more pulls here, so we got two more chances. So we got eight on this account. A lot of resources, guys. Look at the hero essence just absolutely raining in on these accounts. And the final pull gives us two, so we are tied. So two accounts, 10 each. We'll go ahead, we'll buy up our red chest. There we go, so we get 160 red emblems. I'll go ahead and pick up the amplifying emblems because they're gonna save me a little bit of gold. And then last one, of course, we'll just scroll to the bottom with our very last one and pick up a little bit of gold on that one. So 10 on FHG, we got 10 on the Light Bear account. So now we're gonna get into the Wilder account, see if we can break this number, guys. See if we can break 10 when it comes to the Magician's Hat. And again, just having a little bit of fun with this. It gets relatively boring when you're going through all of the summons um, on here all the time to, to make a game of it or make something fun of it, which is what I absolutely love to do. So we got 10 and 10. There's some more red chest. We got some 
essence out of there. A lot of twisted essence falling out of the magician's hat as well. More essence in there, but still no Stargazer cards as of yet, guys. This one gives us, again, no Stargazer cards. Wilders might get shut out. I, I know we got a couple more summons here. Poke coins on that one. No more Stargazer cards. Two. So we got two on there. Wow. So we only got we got five more pulls on here, but we have only pulled two Stargazer cards. No more cards on that one. This is one of the big things why the Wilder account was actually the very first one. If you guys look back, um, the Wilder account was the first one to have Taylene ascended. Um, first one to move on to the Twins, now moved on to Lucretia. So as far as the Stargazer, they've been super lucky. Two more cards right there, guys, so that'll give us four. But overall with the Stargazer, they have been the luckiest with pulls from any of the accounts. Again, coming up with the Twins and with um, Taylene ascended the very first. No more Stargazer cards there. So we only pulled four cards on here. But again, knocking out those 160 red chests, a couple, couple of those amplifying emblems. Then of course, we'll pick up a little bit of gold. So we still got, that is right guys, three more accounts to go through. That is the Wilder, so we'll move right into our Graveborn. Hopefully this is gonna be the luck. So we got 10, 10, and four, which again, the Wilders kinda did horrible in that one. Pull number one, no Stargazer cards in there. So I'm not sure how their 3% uh, ratio is working, but it is not showing us much love at all when it comes to the Stargazer. All right, so another pull there. It gives us two cards. So not too bad. We got two within three pulls. This pull gives us just some resources. I like when we get the chest resources. The, the small resources on um, the two-hour ones are not that great. Um, but there we get 10 red chests out of that one. So we've only pulled two Stargazer cards on this one so far. 10 more red chests, guys. And that was about a 1,000 pull coins, I think I've seen. A little over a 1,000 pull coins on that pull. That one gives us two elite heroes. But again, no Stargazer cards. So we've only pulled two on here. A couple more resources. Got some more Twisted Essence. Three more pulls in the Graveborn will be done. Again, the amplifying emblems, we're getting a lot of those too. I'm seeing a lot of amplifying emblems through here. More pull coins, again, no Stargazer. So we've only got two guys. This is our final pull. And it is two more, so four. So we got 10, 10, four, and four so far. Again, we'll go ahead, we'll pick up all those red chests. Um, we'll pick up some more amplifying emblems, and then it is going to be just a touch of gold, which we absolutely don't need on these accounts. We're definitely going to have to push some of the, this progression. We're just going halfway through 33. So now we are with the Mauler account. So 10, 10, 4, and 4. So Maulers might be able to beat it on this one. 10 red chests right off the bat. Very nice to see, but no Stargazer cards on that pull. Second poll gives us two Stargazer cards. All right, guys, they might be in it to win it for the Mauler account. So another poll here gives us just a couple more resources. Again, it seems like the rarity on these Stargazer cards is pretty high. 10 more red chests and two more Stargazer cards. That brings us up to four. So already that is 20 red chests in there, guys, that we pulled just from these couple pulls out of this Magician's Hat. So we're already at four, five more red chests. That's 25 red chests out of there, guys. And again, not only getting 160 out of the, the final pull when we use get our reward, but getting 25 chests out of there already. Two more Stargazer cards. That brings us up to six on this account. So we got to beat 10. No cards on that one. We only got, what, two more pulls? Not sure we're gonna be able to do it here, guys. Five more, so I think that's 30. That's either 30 or 35 red chests that we've already picked up on this one. And there is 35 or 40. That's an insane amount. So 40 red chests, then we pick up another 160 there. That is 200 red chests from this event, guys. Absolutely phenomenal. So the faction accounts did really well. 
FHG account and the Light Bears did the best. But now we'll take a look at the free to play account. And again, this one, I think I missed a couple of the chess. Um, just slacking a little bit on that one. But this one actually has a little bit of a less probability just because we're not as far in the campaign to pick up these Stargazer cards. So we might not even see Stargazer cards from these pulls, but I would love to see the red chess guys. Red chess in here, again, with this account, we have to push a lot of progression through the campaign, which I think I'm gonna do probably later tonight or tomorrow um, to make some progression. With all the resources we're pulling out of here on the free to play account, we, there, there's actually two Stargazer cards. Look at that. So with the progression on here, um, all of these resources are just banked to make progression. It, this event, again, is one of my absolute favorite. Two more Stargazer cards, guys. We got four already. Just because of the sheer amount of resources you pull out of here, again, is one of the reasons that I absolutely love this event. Every time, I think this is the third time that we've seen the Magician's Hat, um, that it has come around since they've introduced it to AFK Arena. So again, a very cool event to see. Just all the loot you get out of here, guys. And that is six Stargazer cards on the free-to-play account, which is going to help a ton. We'll go ahead and max out our emblems here. We'll pick up some Primordial and some Amplifying emblems to go ahead and round out all of our accounts. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know how well you fared with the Magician's Hat and if you really like the event. And as always, thank you guys for watching.